I'm Patrick Lancaster, and right now we are uh, not far from the center of Donetsk in the Kubashevsky district. And unfortunately, just moments ago, a, a, up to or above two different Ukrainian shells came down here on this civilian street and the shrapnel went uh, through this uh, car, uh, killing this man sitting in this car, just driving along the civilian road. And as you can see, this is a civilian road here. Cars are still going back and forth. Uh, and right now, we're gonna have a closer look to see what the real situation here is on the ground. Um, so we're gonna show you exactly what we see. No, uh, no opinions or interpretations. You see the facts here, you make your own opinion. So please like, share, and subscribe. Now let's have a closer look. So now that we take a little bit uh, closer look to the car itself, we see there is some shrapnel both here and here. And what it appears, and now we hear his phone's ringing. That was set on top of their car. That, it's probably his relatives calling to see if he's okay, but he's not, unfortunately. But what we've seen here is the shrapnel came through uh, this, uh, this part of the trunk here, went through, and into the back of the seat, through this seat and into the back of the seat there, and that's what ended his life, unfortunately. So we're gonna continue on, uh, on our investigation. This is what gets through his... Yeah. That's amazing. This is a piece of uh, M. I, I recognize this shrapnel now easily. This is the. Uh... So he's. Oh, Hello. Uh, здравствуйте. Uh, можно сказать, что это место? Ну, это как бы офисное здание небольшой фирмы автобусной. Ага. Э, военный объект здесь? Нет, нет, ага. вон, вы видите, автобусы гражданские. Ага. Все. Городские, И... пассажирские. Э, как вы думаете, почему украинские войска стреляют именно здесь, если это не военный объект? Это ж надо у них спросить. Угу. Да. Чего, чего они стреляют? Угу. Так это уже Самогон, третий да, раз. Да? Да. Один раз он... в начале... Ни, ниже там забор поврежден, и два автобуса сгорели, если вы можете увидеть, вон они, ага. и вот второй раз. Ага. Это чисто пассажирский транспорт, ага. никаких тут. Понял. И когда это был? В районе 13 часов, где-то в час дня. А, это все было? Нет, это было 11 июня а, июня прошлого ага. года, и... а это вот сегодня час полтора назад ага понял и мы вижу один человек погибший человек погибший это мимо проезжали просто у меня погибла собака и все он был эта машина он был ехал оттуда да нет скорее всего он вот так вот ехал по дороге ага. и только был один прилот ну, насколько я знаю один ага. хотя очевидцы говорят что было два но где второй мы не знаем ага. я не знаю понял как зовут so, uh, as we see, we're uh, here at the civilian bus center where the impact uh, hit right here and uh, the shrapnel went all across uh, this area here. Now let's have a look inside to see what is actually here. We've talked to the worker here to get his uh, insight on what this place is, but let's have a look for ourselves to really show you all the facts that we see here on the ground. Okay, as he said, uh, buses, Shrapnel came across. It's a Savonia, da? Uh huh. Bueno. Yeah, when 
они туда сошли. Там больше ничего нет. Ага. Если вы хотите те автобусы, ну, тут даже факт о том, что здесь нет военных, это уже сильно поможет так что пройтись чуть-чуть, если вы не против, Даша. А я не против. Было по ноту, по ноту. А, это когда это было? Это было 11 июня. А, когда это... Ага. Почему они стреляют до сюда? Вот здесь нету, вот нет. Ага. Вот была собака, и той не стало. Ага, понял. Ну все, спасибо. Unfortunately, we've just got some more news, and uh, as we're talking to the people here on the ground, we understand more and more things about what really happened. Uh, now, has, uh, what, what happens is, this was a uh, taxi driver, the vehicle they were in, and the, the man you saw with the holes uh, in his coat and showing us the shrapnel piece, that was the taxi driver. And uh, the dead man that you saw was in the taxi, uh, with his wife and son, eight-year-old son. And unfortunately, uh, of course, when the shell came down, he was, uh, the, the father was uh, killed instantly. And unfortunately, the child, the little boy, was injured. Him and his mother jumped in a uh, another vehicle to go to the hospital. And the eight-year-old boy died on the way to the hospital. So we're just bringing you all the information we can here on the ground. And we've also, uh, we found some uh, shrapnel out front uh, to, in addition to what was shown to us by the taxi driver. Um, and we're told by, we're not experts, but uh, we're told that this does resemble a Western supplied 155 millimeter uh, shell. Um, if you can... Uh, put, shed some light on uh, on this. Any experts out there? Watch it. Comment below on what you think this is, what you think it was that killed this father and son. And uh, we're just going to continue on and show you what's happening here on the ground. So we'll, let's go take a look to see inside uh, what it looks like inside. All right, it is what it is. We do our best to show you the real facts here on the ground. And again, don't just uh, watch uh, my reports, watch things on the other side as well and make your own educated decision. Don't just be fed uh, like uh, sheep, the information that the Western mainstream media and Western governments want you to see. Watch information from both sides and make your own educated decision on what you want to believe and what you want your opinion to be. Be, uh, and let's show the world together what's happening here. Let's show the world what the Western mainstream media is ignoring and doesn't want to show you. Share across all social media, like this video, and uh, remember, we're totally independent crowdfunded journalists. You can support our work with the link on the screen or in the description and in the comments below. And also, please comment below how we can be better and make these reports better for you and what else you want to see. Put that in the comment section and we'll make sure to do it for you because you are who we report to. We don't have any producers or editors that we report to. We report to you, our viewers. So help us make us better so you can enjoy and understand more of the information we're putting out. Thank you.